Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about judging refugees by their appearance in two Greek tragedies. Um, this is going to be just a short video because I, I found a line in the Children of Heracles that really, really interested me because it gives us a, a stark comparison point with a set of discourse in Aeschylus's the suppliants or the suppliant women. So both of these are pl uh, refugee plays. They each feature groups of people who have come to a Greek city-state seeking protection from, uh, from someone who wants to do them harm or from a group who wants to do them harm. In the suppliants, this is the Danaids, the daughters of Danos, who are fleeing their birthplace in Egypt to their ancestral homeland of Argos um, because their cousins, the sons of Egyptos, are trying to force the women to marry them against their will. Um, so they come to Argos and they seek protection from King Pelasgos, the Greek gods, etc., etc. In the Children of Heracles, we have Aeolus, Alcmene, and the and Heracles' children, Heracles now uh, being dead by the point this play begins, they have been driven out of Argos and then subsequent city-states by King Erostheus, um, the bitter enemy of Heracles in life, who is now persecuting his children after his death. Um, Aeolus, Alcmene, and the children arrive at Athens, or more properly at Marathon, a, a town on the outskirts of Athens, um, and basically they apply for asylum uh, with King Demophon and the Greek gods again. Um, what, one of the things that's really interesting to me uh, is that in the children of Heracles, Demophon is debating Copreus, uh, who's the herald of Eristheus, the king who wants to, to get hold of uh, Aeolus, Alcmene, and the children. And Demophon says of this herald, the man's attire and style are Greek, his violence barbarian. Now that's really, really interesting because it, it raises an important theme that we see in both the children of Heracles and the suppliants, which is the appearance and whether or not it's trustworthy, right? So in this instance, um, Copreus is, Copreus is uh, sorry, Copreus is a Greek. As Demophon quite rightly points out, the man's attire and style are Greek. He is Greek. He's from Argos. But we have then the contrast between the appearance. He is Greek. He appears civilized, which is what Greek means in this context. Um, he appears to be a civilized person. He appears to know how he should behave. He appears to be from a culture where he would reverence the gods, etc., etc. All these things are bound up in the appearance of Copreus. But... His behavior belies that. His behavior says something very different, that he is uncivilized, that he is a barbarian, an outsider, a non-Greek. So we have here, obviously, this sort of xenophobic element that, that's fairly pervasive in Greek drama, literature, mythology, etc., etc. The idea that the Greeks are good and civilized and proper, and non-Greeks are uncivilized, not good, not proper, etc., etc. But we have in this idea, right, that this idea of, of the person who appears Greek but behaves barbarian, we have the antithesis of what we get in the suppliants, because in the suppliants, a lot of time and attention is devoted to, oh, these women look so foreign. They've come from Egypt. They've got Egyptian clothes. They wear Egyptian style makeup, whatever it is. We have, I mean, we have a clear, and I mean, there's one point where 
Pelasco just starts like listing off non Greek groups of people, many of whom are completely different from one another. Um, he he lists people from like the Caucasus region, from um, the Balkans north of Greece. He lists people. Uh, he he lists Libyans, Ethiopians, just pe people from all over the place, Arabs. There's this laundry list of, oh, you look like maybe you're some other people. You're somebody who's not the, the Greeks, and they all kind of look similarly weird and exotic. But then, alongside, and, and the Danids themselves say, yeah, sorry we look so foreign. Are bad for being from Egypt? But alongside that discourse of you look very foreign is a, a big chunk of that play devoted to actually we are Greek. The Danaids are the descendants of Io. Um, Io was from Argos. Um, Zeus had an affair with her slash raped her. Hera was not thrilled with this, as is often the case. She turned Io into a cow, sent a, a fly that drove Io all the way to Egypt. And so Io's descendants come out of Egypt from that point on. But their ancestral homeland is Argos. So what we have in the suppliants is people who appear foreign, but then we find they're actually Greek, and what we have in the children of Heracles is a person who appears Greek, but we find that his behavior aligns him with foreigners. Now, the one interesting additional bit to this question is that in the suppliants, the sons of Egyptos are exactly in the same boat as the Danians. They look Egyptian, because again, they are from Egypt but their ancestry is Greek. The distinguishing factor is that the suppliants come to Argos, go to the temple, um, they start supplicating the gods, they honor Greek norms, oh, democratic norms, even though those would not have been the actual, those were the norms for 5th century BCE Athens, they would not have been uh, the norms for Argos in in the uh, in the earlier mythological era, but that's not the point right now. Uh, so they honor the Greek traditions, etc., etc., and so they, through their actions, prove themselves to be Greek. Whereas the sons of Egyptos come to seize the Danaids against their will through violence and against the will of the people of Argos, and so in this case. The actions of, in, in this case, actions are more significant. The Danaids' actions prove them to be Greek. The sons of Egyptos' actions prove them to be barbarian. And in a way, this is what we see in the children of Heracles as well. Corpreus is, is Greek. He's from Argos, there's no real question about that, but his behavior proves him to be not Greek. We have here an interesting ethical element to the reception of uh, refugees and the understanding of foreigners versus Greeks in Greek drama.